Hey guys, Michael here with Hello Cupcake It's Me and um, I am doing a update right now. Uh, today is July 13th so you're probably going to see this on the 14th which would be a Sunday but um, today has just been kind of a really cool day. A uh, lot of stuff going on th around town. Um, a f uh, first of all there was the uh, pride celebration um, at the park and uh, this is the second annual pride parade and festival that um, the area has done on the Olympic Peninsula so it was really cool um, I went there with one of my friends and uh, just got to listen to a lot of speeches and got to um, meet a lot of different people and meet um, some of the LGBTQ members of the community which was really nice and um, got some information about what was going on here there and um, here and there and um, that they're in the process of trying to build an LGBT uh, youth center but it's also going to just be a general center for um, gays and lesbians to go check out so that was really cool and my friend was able to uh, meet some new people within the community and so um, they got to just kind of hook up and whatever so that was cool and then um, a friend of mine over at um, the Steve Strout.com I am he um he's a local comic book nerd and he has his finger on the like pulse of everything from like Magic the Gathering to the latest comic books, movie reviews and stuff like that. So um he sent me a email a couple of weeks ago and was like, "Hey, you know, um my my little uh thing, the comic book swamp meet we are going to be doing a mini comic con here on the Olympic Peninsula. And I was like, dude, that's so freaking awesome. This is the second one he's done, I believe. And um, just a lot of really great people there. And um, part of the proceeds uh, go to the local food banks, which was even more amazing that he did that. So, you know, big shout out to you, Steve, uh, for doing that. But, um, it was just really kind of cool, like, seeing a small community have something like that, and where everyone could just come together, have fun. There were people who actually dressed up, um, there was a lot of comic book vendors, there was people selling retro toys, uh, there was this one guy there who was selling old Star Wars toys, and, oh my god, they were just outside of my price budget. Um, which is like no 90 no basically but yeah um, and then uh, the other thing going on today was Relay for Life and uh, I was co-chair co co captain for um, our team and uh, I had to leave early because my beautiful pump stopped working on me and kept telling me that there's an inclusion in the line which means that there was a blockage or something so I had to drive all the way home and right now I just don't have the money nor the gas to get back into town to um, to just go and kind of finish out the festivities there and I like made my apologies to everyone and uh, made my way home but yeah, just a lot of really cool stuff going on today, and I just wish I had the financial ability as well as the other abilities to make it and go out and go check everything out like I really wanted to. But um, yeah, it was what I was able to do. I had a lot of fun. Um, I also got to stop by uh, Peninsula Credit Union. And uh, they're a local credit union here on the Olympic Peninsula, and I won a water bottle. <laughs> the year um, this year's theme was uh, superheroes, and um, I'm a freaking dork. 
I love superheroes. I watch all the comic movies and stuff that come out. Um, my favorite superhero happens to be Superman, and I'm kind of venturing out into um, into uh, anime and stuff like that. So I'm just getting to the point where I'm learning about anime and things like that. So. Um, I, I don't even remember where I was going with that. Just so much swarming around in there. But anyways, oh yeah. So, um, in order to win the bottle, you had to answer uh, seven questions. And I was like, okay, you know, I could probably do this. And the first question was, how did Spider-Man get his uh, superpowers? And that, I was like, okay, that's because he got bit by a radioactive spider. And then um, the next question was, who saved Tony Stark, or, no, who saved <sighs> Doctor Strange from being sucked out into the vacuums of space or something like that? Again, that was uh, Spider-Man, who made uh, Iron, or, who made Captain America's shield... And I got a little geeky with that one. I was like, well, the metal comes from Wakanda, which is where the Black Panther is from. But it was actually Stark Industries who created the shield for Captain America because Howard Stark was a huge fan and all this other stuff. And so the lady's like, dude, anything on the table, it's yours. Just take it. <laughs> like, I'm not worthy type situation. So I did the whole little... You know, in episode 433, in scene 462, you know, like, total comic book nerd. So, um, yeah, that was kind of really fun, and they had all kinds of really cool little prizes there. Like, there was a water bottle, a coffee mug, a pizza cutter, just all kinds of cool stuff like that. And then the other thing that I got, and I'm going to switch it around, is I got that picture. Oh, Grandma! So, I don't know if that's coming, but I won this in an auction. I happened to put a dollar in, got a ticket, and when they called it, I won it. So, this is by a local artist, M. Clark, who passed away in 2012. And, um, it's... <laughs> Dash hounds eating hot dogs. So hot dogs eating hot dogs, which I thought was really fun and ironic. And I just love the texture of it and everything. And then my friend got me the little pride flag for going with them. So I was like, yay, you know, I'll carry that around. So a few little souvenirs here and there and just a lot of general fun. And I'm doing my video in my room. So you see some of my Funko Pop over there in the background but um anyways yeah i just wanted to do a quick little update and just kind of fill you in on my day-to-day -day. and i should have thought of taking my camera with me and filming some of the stuff that i was doing i had it with me but i forgot it in the car and then it was just like trying to remember to go back out to the car get it so i'm sorry that i wasn't able to um, do that with, with you guys, but anyways, um, check out my friend Steve Strout, um, I'm gonna put a link to his stuff down below, uh, if you are a comic book person, or you know somebody who's really into comic books and things like that, he's got a lot of great content over there, also, um, at the comic convention, I met up with these guys over at Unlock the Con, so go check them out too. Really amazing dudes. They were super knowledgeable about things. Um, just really personable. Got took a minute to like sit down and just talk with you guys. Um, they go to comic cons and they will purchase uh, Funko Pop or like other co um, Comic Con exclusive stuff and. Um, send it to you so I thought that that was really cool and like a really amazing service because uh, like I know San Diego Comic Con's getting ready to go on and 
like I said earlier in the video, I've never been to a comic convention and I've always wanted to, so now that I had this small taste of what happened over here um, locally, not only am I going to continue to go to it local, go to my local one, but I'm really going to try to make it out to Rose City Comic Con, which is in uh, Portland, Oregon. Um, so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that I'm able to do that. But, you know, with money being the way that money is and y'all knowing my situation, um, I may or may not be able to do that. But anyways, I'm just rambling now, so I will talk to y'all later. Again, go check out Unlock the Con. That's www.unlockthecon.com. And, um... My friend uh, Steve Strout with the comic book, um, oh, come on, Steve, I wish you would have put your, he doesn't have his web address on there, so I'll have to make sure to put that on there, but um, it's the Steve Strout, I know that's one of his websites, the thestevestrout.com, um, I actually think that is his website. Anyways, like I said, I'll put it on there. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please put them in the comments section down below. And um, if you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you're on a mobile or tablet device, please uh, hit the little bell icon so you're notified anytime I update my social media. Also, please take a moment to head over to hellocupcakeitsme.com, which is the blog and um, I post a lot of exclusive content over there. And if you want to follow me on any other social media, I'm on Instagram. Um, you can check me out on Instagram. It, um, my handle there is Michael Scott Peterson, P E T E R S O N. And if you would like to shoot me an email, my email is hello cupcake it's me at gmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter. Um, that's Hello Cupcake, the number four and the letter U on Twitter. And yeah, so thank you guys again for watching, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.